This is a video on the ZPB30A um, constant current battery tester. Um, been getting into 18650 lithium ions. Got a load of battery packs from work, um, laptop battery packs. Stripped them all down. What I do is start by just looking at them and measuring the voltage of each cell. So these are actually the ones I'm not that interested in, they're 2.2 volts. Um, any ones that had a reasonable level of voltage in them, I then took off. Um, built myself a battery charging rig using these um, TP4056 battery charger modules. Allows me to charge five at a time. Um, those are all the batteries I've charged and I've actually tested as well. So I've used this um, discharger tester. So you can see here that I've measured that one 2.5, 2.3, I can't read my own writing. So this is the actual tester itself. There are videos on eBay for it, but um, they're all in Chinese. You, um, the, you press this, the, you hold, you power it up and hold the run button to set what mode you want to do. It says function one as fun one or fun two. Function one is just a constant current load. Function two is battery tester mode. Press the run button. B, B E on or B E off is just buzzer on, buzzer off. Um, all that means is when it gets to the end of the test run, it just does a buzzer so you know it's finished. You then got uh, essentially two functions. You've, you have this is the voltage that it will stop the load test on. So in the case of an 18650, 2.8 volts is the um, the cutoff voltage. And then the other the other meter here is the, the current. You've got like a rough you just keep pressing this button, you've got a rough current setting and then a fine setting. So for a single 18650 I've been using it, pulling them down at 3 amps. And again, as I said, I, I discharged to 2.8 volts. So that's that. So if we just get um, an 18650 battery, it says try and find a single one. The, the battery tester, if you start pulling a lot of current, you need to up, up late, upgrade it. So I've soldered in thicker wires and I've got like a bit of extra metal, bit of plate in here. Because it was just getting hot and just burning up. So this is actually a pair of 18650s. So um, I'm actually going to set this to 6 amps. 6 amp discharge. So it's 2.8 2.8 volts minimum voltage and 6 amp um, current pull. You just press that briefly and off it goes. And then it will cycle round each display showing you the voltage of the cell, the current, the accumulated current and the accumulated watt hours. And this will run probably for 15, 15, 20 minutes with this double pack on. Um, and once it's finished it just it will beep uh, and it will show you how many amp hours the battery pack is. So I've just been auditioning all of these packs here. Um, when I'm doing a lot of the testing, I've I've put it on this Bakelite material for charging in case they catch fire. Um, I've got the aluminium, also got to be careful with aluminium because you, you you can short out the ends of these battery packs if you're not careful. But um, I just don't want them going up on going up in flames on me. Um, and that's basically it. Um, you can pause it, and actually I pushed it too quickly, but you can pause and restart restart it. And you can change the current as well, so I can like crank it right up to like 10 amps there. Uh, I think I'll stop that though, it's probably pulling a bit too much. If you put it into constant current mode, so we just put it into constant current mode. You just set the voltage that you want and the current that you want, but it's not really that much use to be honest with you. Um, the battery test mode is much more interesting. So just keep your finger on the button, power it up. Function two, buzzer on. Set the desired draw. And press the 
a start. It's got a fan on there. I've been testing lead acid batteries with it as well. Um, I've got a big lead acid, lead, acid, lead acid battery pack. Been testing anything. It's um, goes up to about 26 volts, but you can only pull about two amps. It only takes um, 60 watts. There's a limit to how much current you can pull. But for smallish sort of batteries, especially these 18650s, um, I found it to be really, really good. Very happy with it. Um, it needs a, a one amp power supply. I did had to try a couple of one amp ones. One was off an old ADSL router, and it refused to work. This is another random one that I found in the parts bin. Um, but yeah, works really well.